Multiple readings on your Big Gardener Spectra Guide. Multiple readings should always be performed in case of uneven or st structured surfaces. The advantage of multiple readings is that the visual evaluation is supplemented by the calculation of a mean for the measured values. This function is activated from the File menu. Use the Down button to move the cursor to Mean and press the Operate button. The submenu will open. Choose On and press the Operate button to switch on the calculation of the mean. In the default setting, the mean is calculated from three readings. The display shows this calculation of the new mean as it begins. After the first measurement, the display shows the absolute standard's absolute values. The number of readings is displayed in the long line. After this, each following measurement, the mean value is displayed. In the default setting, the difference mode is shown on the display. When multiple readings are performed, the mean value is shown on the left and the differences of the mean are shown on the right in accordance with the display settings. If you'd like to see the current value displayed, you can select the sample mode option from the display menu. To do this, use the left and right buttons to place the cursor on display menu. Then use the down button to open the submenu. Sample mode is pre-selected. Press the operate button. The display will show the current measured values on the left side, while the right side displays the means for the sample measured so far. In order to turn off the calculation of the mean, use the operate button to confirm the off option in the file mean off menu. Storing the mean. From the file menu, use the down button to move the cursor to the save option. The submenu will open when you press the operate button. Use the down button to move the cursor to sample and press the operate button. The input menu will appear for the sample name and you can select the appropriate letter at the position indicated by the arrow using the up and down buttons. Use the left and right buttons to move the arrow to the next letter. Enter a name for the mean. After performing this input, press the operate button. The mean will then be stored. The instrument will then return to the measuring mode with calculation of the mean. The name of the stored mean is displayed at the lower left. The standard measurement can be stored according to save standard. Deleting the last reading. If you have performed an invalid measurement and would like to delete the last measured value, go to the file menu and use the down button to move the cursor to mean. The submenu will open when you press the operate button. Use the down button to move the cursor to delete last and press the operate button. You will see a prompt asking whether you really want to delete this last reading. If this is not the case, simply use the left, up, down, and right buttons to exit the menu. If you want to delete, press the operate button. The instrument will then return to the preset measuring mode. The counter for the number of readings will be incremented by 1. Number of readings. From the file menu, you use the down button to move the cursor to the mean option. The submenu will open when you press the operate button. Use the down button to move the cursor to define n and press the operate button. The input menu will appear for a number of readings. The preset value is 3. You can use the up and down buttons to select the appropriate digit at the position indicated by the arrow. Use the left button to move the arrow to the next decimal position. Then press the operate button and the new number of readings will be stored. The number of readings can only be altered in the advanced version.